leaders. And I am happy to have him as a partner, uh, but more importantly, to have him as my friend, Mayor Coleman. Thank you, Governor, for that very fine introduction. You know, it's cold this morning. And I uh, thought about wearing my overcoat, but I'm one that always thinks about the future. So I said, I won't wear my overcoat, and I'll think about spring. Because in Columbus, we're always building for the future. I'm glad to be here, I'm proud to be here, and it takes great partners to make this happen, and the governor and the state legislature help make this happen. Let me just say, we've come a long way, baby. It's been about five or six years now where we have really worked on trying to make our downtown the engine that it should be for our region. Downtown matters. It's the center of commerce, the center of culture and entertainment. It is the engine of the region. And if downtown doesn't work, our region will fail. Where downtown works, our region will succeed. Just look around us today. We have 5,000 new apartments over the past few years in condos developed by 53 different developers. 3,000 new jobs have relocated downtown just recently. We're constructing the Scioto Mile just a block away from here. We're building two new bridges. One of them is a one of a kind in the nation. Two new parking garages are on its way and Lazarus Building, which had the potential of being the largest vacant and abandoned building in all of America, is now fully leased, fully occupied, and is the largest green rehab building in all of America. We have a new baseball stadium that's under construction as we speak. And River South has 200 affordable apartments and condos right there under construction. It's coming together, people. Town Street and Front Street is transforming into a two-way, pedestrian-friendly avenues, just like we did on Gay Street, just a few blocks away. And just this past Monday, City Council, thanks to President Mike Mental, we adopted a plan that's going to uh, add a quarter billion dollars of new private investment in the Arena District of residential, housing, and office and retail. And we have two grocery stores in our downtown market. Just a few years ago, we had zero. A Giant Eagle and a Kroger's. We want more, we want more. Now, despite our successes, one of the challenges of our downtown has been attracting retail. That's been a challenge. A strong retail market is necessary for downtown to survive and to thrive and for our community to thrive. Lack of retail leads to empty storefronts, desolate streets, and difficult recruiting and retaining corporations and our residents. This past year, in my State of the City address, I declared that we're going to focus on retail really on two fronts. The first front was to tear down this bridge. And that's what we're here to do today. Why should we tear it down? because it is a barrier to economic development and retail development along High Street. It is a disincentive, it is dark, it is scary, it is uninviting, uninviting for retail in this community. So we're gonna tear it down. And we believe that, that by tearing it down, it will open up development to High Street and the River South and to create a, a more pedestrian environment along this street. Second, what we're trying to accomplish is, is uh, the focus on this corridor and we're calling it the Mile on High Economic Development Initiative. The Mile on High. High Street is the spine of the city of Columbus. It is our backbone and just like a human body, when the backbone works, everything else works. High Street Corridor was once a bustling boulevard where people came to shop, visit, and live. And today, there are 152,000 square feet of vacant retail space 
along the high street corridor and 12 acres of vacant lots and surface parking. But we have to change that, but we have to do it a step at a time. And so we're going to focus on uh, density and concentration of activity along high street, along the mile on high in this mile on high district. Chicago, they have the magnificent mile. I know many of you have been there. I've been there. I've taken notes and brought them back to Columbus. And we're going to try to achieve much of what was accomplished there as well. Street level retail. I call it people level retail. That's what we want to see. People level retail. Open days and weekends is needed to have an integral component of a healthy, vibrant downtown and a city. Now, the big white elephant, the city center, this thing right here, it is in the room, and we're dealing with that as well. But fixing city center is a marathon, not a sprint. And I said we got to take control of city center, and we did. And the reason why we had to take control of city center, so we can control its destiny. Well, we're living in tough times right now toughest times we have seen in America since the Great Depression. But I am optimistic, very optimistic, because we are exploring options that we're not ready to talk about yet, but I am confident that we'll have a long-term solution. Uh, I'm not even going to give you a time frame, but we're working on a long-term solution, and it has to be a long-term solution.